All right, today we're going to look at a small centerless grinder. Uh, for people who can't afford or have the room or just have very small or uh, infrequent jobs, these dead true units uh, are, are a nice solution. They're small. Uh, they can be mounted on a standard surface grinder with, with just a little uh, modification. Uh, but this particular machine is made by Dead True um, and has the modifications already on it, with modifications being a special table uh, with a special platform that holds the Dead True unit as opposed to your normal uh, magnet. Uh, another thing different about this is that there's a through hole in the, uh, underneath the spindle here. If you were doing long pieces through, uh, through grinding, through feed grinding of some long rods, uh, they have that hole there so you can just push and pull them through. And you can also do plunge grinding with it. Another special thing about this machine is that it's got a pulp spindle, a heavy duty, three horsepower uh, pulp spindle on there. Um, so you got a lot of power and torque because you can see here that some of these grinding wheels are um, pretty wide and I'm gonna show you them so you know what I'm talking about that's probably three inches wide <clears throat> and this is your regulating wheel it goes in here rotates your workpiece and you've also got a um, kind of a guide bar that would mount underneath here or actually on here uh, to guide your part through you adjust those rollers and we've got a whole box of accessories different um, different, um, I forget what you call them, uh, these plates here that you set up uh, for through feed or for plunge grinding uh, that keep the part in place. Plus you also got an extra wide wheel guard so that you could put your wide uh, parts on there. Uh, so generally you'd have this running and you've got a couple of stops set up down there and what you would do is you would um, get this all set up using your vertical to get this exactly where you want it and then uh, you come underneath it right to your stop and uh, grind your part. Now if you're doing through feed you've got this adjusted this dead true unit this is a model C unit by the way they make other models uh, all this stuff on top can be um, the work rest blades that's what you call those excuse me can be adjusted so that it will pull the part through uh, that's how you do the through feed grinding and in order to do that um, you have to be able to adjust the angle that the wheel hits the workpiece and so this is all adjustable this can go up and down there's a diamond mounted here to dress your wheel with and um, you might have to do a little of this I'm not sure I really am not an expert on on centerless grinding on dead true centerless grinding um, so this unit plugs into the back of the machine it's got its own little power supply here that's it running you can go faster or slower right down inside there is the wheel turning and that will rotate your part now you would keep that all straight and parallel if you didn't want the part to go driving off out through the back. You want it just to stay there to come down and do a plunge grind. You might have a part that goes in there that's only an inch wide and then you just would come in underneath the wheel to the stop, shh, grinds, and then you take it out. Um, so I'm going to start up the spindle now. I've got the grinding spindle on. It's nice and quiet. Well there you have it. That's the uh, the Dead True Centerless Grinder. Uh, there's lots of accessories for these through Dead True. Um, and again, we have a lot with this machine, so it's pretty well equipped. Uh, it's currently wired for 460 volts. This is a 460 volt machine. Um, not much involved in changing it over to 220, just a few wires in the back of the motor, so that would not be a problem, but currently it's wired for 460. And we could wire it for for 230. Okay, thank you very much.